Hey guys, it's Friday, February 26th, 2021, and I've got layout update number 45 for you, and I'll flip this thing around and show you what I did this week. Well, straight off, I added uh, a little bit of grass detail to the front of the brewery. Um, I'll probably put a parking lot over here next to the hops cars for access to uh, tour the brewery, so that's why I kind of added the little bit of grass detail to the entrance. And over on the roundhouse side of it, uh, I finished the um, little area for the yard tower. Um, I didn't do much with that uh, tower that I had, uh, other than a little detail painting, and it, it looks pretty good there. Um, the biggest thing is I got the, uh, the roundhouse area pretty much done. Um, I used uh, two, two kits, they're uh, Rick's products which are really nice. They, they go together really easy. They're very versatile. Uh, parts are interchangeable, so you can customize it really easily. My only objection to it is that the plastic is a little bit thick, so when you're trying to cut the, the holes for the windows and doors, uh, it's not as easy as I'd like, but uh, you can get it done. But no, they're, they're really you know, w well thought out and I, I really enjoyed putting them together um, and and they're pretty um you know pretty reasonably priced uh, i had a little bit of extra to uh um, sorry about the shadow for the for a uh, storage shed in the back and uh, i added some more uh, gravel to the front but the fuel rack turned out pretty well. I'm, I'm really pleased with it. Uh, it weathered up okay. I had a few issues with uh, the plaster being thin down by the, the center of the fuel rack. It, it uh, actually went through the, the wood base that I had on it. So it's been a bit of a challenge uh, to complete that. I wanted to model the roundhouse in Richmond and they use uh, something similar to this channel uh, set up to uh, drain fluids away and uh, to a separator that would reclaim them but uh, I don't know if that was such a good idea that was really quite a challenge I when I poured it I I, uh, I laid a couple of rails on their side and tack glued them to the ties to keep the, the channel free and then I pulled it out with the when the smooth it was hard um, it's it looks a little rough in the video it looks a little better in person uh, but for the most part I, I'm pretty happy with it I was not happy with the Stewart products uh, sand tower um, it let's see if we can focus this thing in and find it um, it just uh, it just didn't it didn't work for me it uh, it's small also bent it um, it's very fragile and you can't even get a locomotive in between these uh, sand hoses so that uh, that was a no-go so what I opted to do was to to, uh, to kit bash one and it turned out really well it's it's got uh, the uh, tower is uh, eighth inch uh, PVC tubing. The top of it is the, the tip of a ballpoint pen. The, the hose arms are just uh, um, six thousandths, I think it's six thousandths, point zero six one um, brass tubing and just bent them down, painted them. The uh, wires are just piano wire. The uh, I don't know if this focuses in very well, but the this uh, the ladders I did make those out of uh, um, it was leftover material from the drain spouts on the the buildings that I didn't use, so it it actually did pretty well on the um, the ladder on the sand tower. We've got the fuel fills on the side. Um, probably get a couple more because uh, one th these are water. And then you had had fuel, so I may uh, make some new ones out of brass tubing when I get it. But uh, I am pretty happy with the way that turned out. And let's see if we can get over here. 
um, that car um, is the sand car. I just cut out a, a groove um, that you would drop the sand into a hopper that would be blown up into the, the top hopper in the uh, sand tower. So I want to add some uh, copper tubing um, details between the uh, separator uh, recovery tank and uh, the uh, fuel nozzle. So got a, I got a few ideas, but uh, that'll probably come. But yeah, the roundhouse turned out pretty well. I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, I'm I'm glad it's done. It uh, it was quite a process, but. That's that's the update, guys, and I just wanted to show you that. So I will talk to you on the next one. Stay safe. See you Saturday mornings, 10 a.m. Eastern, back on track, and uh, you guys take care.